we went into the studio and into the game. They, 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 they were leading in the first half. Second half, we equalized. After we equalized, our driver came and informed us that uh, the, the fans are displacing our ties outside. So we have to face the awareness of the security. They went and calmed the situation, but then our ties were displaced. As soon as we closed the game, we came out to um, leave the premises so that we can get the organizer to fix our ties for us. We came out to meet a very big bad luck on the main entrance of the stadium, denying us exit from the stadium. And so we had to stay in the bus for close to 40 minutes. And before they opened the, 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 the gate for us, they had already broken the glass of our, our, our bus. So as we were leaving the stadium, they were lined up from the stadium to the junction. They were throwing stones at us, sticks at us before we got to the junction. All of our glasses were broken. Our players were injured. Currently, as we speak, seven players are hospitalized. They were admitted yesterday at the University of Energy and Natural Resources Hospital. They have never played in the Division 1 before. We have been in the Division 1 since 2018. The only crime we committed was that we came there and drew against them. They share the same home ground with Inswaterman and who are competing with us for the top spot in the Division 1 Zone 1. And so we have heard that because they share the same ground with them, they wanted to do everything possible for us to lose that game. But unfortunately, we didn't lose. And that got, that got them pissed off for them to do what they did to us. But it's football.